7 Terrifying New Creatures Science Just Discovered Nature is just one big abundance of the creature. This consists of our surroundings. There are many things living in nature. Living and non-living things are connected and many mysterious creatures are hiding in our environment. The number of living creatures in our environment is not fixed. Every moment the creative minds are searching for new ones to solve the mystery of our environment. Those creatures are not similar to each other and under different species because of their features. They have an individual objective to live, which is completing their life goals. They help to maintain the ecological balance. Without having an ecological balance, life will collapse. But some of them can get really creepy at times and behaves in a very unnatural way. And with time, scientists are introducing new kinds of terrifying thugs. So I am going to introduce you to seven such terrifying new creatures that can take your sleep away. Number seven, leech that wants to use your body as home. In 2007, a new sort of leech was seen in Peru. When we say seen, we mean it was found inside the head of a nine-year-old after she whined about a sliding feeling in the back of her nostril. After drilling around in there, physician Renzo Aruco Brown discovered what seemed to be a leech with a chainsaw for a face. The kinds, dubbed Tyranna della Rex, is three inches long and has a set of teeth five times bigger than your regular leech chompers. But that's not even the most terrifying thing about it. Unlike regular leeches that just kind of hang off your body like horrible ornaments, the T-Rex leech prefers to feed on mucous membranes rather than your skin. That means the soft tissue all up inside you. Places like the inside of your nose, behind your eyes, up to your back, all the places you're least happy to have a three-inch worm with daggers aggressively shooting out of its face. Look at those creepy things. If that doesn't make you want to squeeze your various orifices so tight that you couldn't slip a needle through them, the scientists studying this monster explain that it doesn't really bite you, it's more of a sawing motion. Like a little miner happily hacking his way through your sinus cavity to liberate the sweet reaches within. Number six, rat-eating pitcher plant. Rat-eating pitcher is just a plant, but the different thing is it eats rats. That's why this is called rat-eating pitcher. It is called meat-eating pitcher plants. Science in the time of Linnaeus was first who described this. The plant lures in the rats. When the rat enters into the plant to drink the liquid, it slips on the pitcher's waxy interior and gets stuck in the trap. Once it is dropped, acid-like digestive enzymes down the still-living rodent. Only in the Philippines we see this kind of thing. The giant pitcher plants were located on Mount Victoria in Palawan, Central Philippines, by a team led by a UK botanist. This pitcher ate not only rats, but also different kinds of insects. Furthermore, some pitcher plants contain materialistic insect larvae which feed on trapped prey and where excreta the plant absorbs. On the other hand, the largest of the meat-eating plant is a relative of the pitcher plant named Nepenthes. But those are not great to humans, however. The local people have found ways to make them useful. It has been assumed that the key to pitfall success in Nepenthes was due to the design of the inner surface of the pitcher. The surface is slippery on the inside because it's made of waxy flakes that easily fall away on contact. Compounding matters, the chemistry of the peristome, lip, is such that with a little humidity or water secretion, friction is further decreased, making it nearly impossible for the hungry visitor to get a grip and resulting in a free fall into the vat of digestive chemicals. However, not all Nepenthes species have the above traits, and there is evidence that the pitfall trapping success is more complicated than first thought. The chemical makeup of the liquid pool is composed of highly viscous and elastic fluid, viscoelastic properties that keep the organism from escaping. This property may be more important than the morphology of the inner pitcher itself in the trapping success of plants. The more the animal resists, the greater amount of digestive acids are secreted and the faster digestion takes place. These acids are so strong that small insects like flies and midges can disappear in hours as their nutrients are absorbed into glands located in the lower part of the trap. Number five, the spider that builds an 80-foot web. Spider spinning 80 plus feet of webbing. The tiny Darwin's bark spider can shoot its web a distance of 82 feet. Darwin's bark spider is an orb weaver spider that produces the largest known orb webs, ranging from 900 to 28,000 square centimeters, with bridge lines spanning up to 25 meters. 
The spider was discovered in Madagascar in the Andesib Montadia National Park in 2009. The spider does this by physically pulling the spider's silk through its spinnerets, silk secreting organs on its abdomen. Once the thread is started, the spider lifts its spinnerets into the breeze. It's the breeze that is the secret to the spider's ability to spin a web from tree to another. However, researchers have now revealed Darwin's bark spider has the toughest silk saw, more than twice as tough as any previous described silk and more than 10 times stronger than Kevlar. Just imagine somehow you got stuck in one of those 80-foot webs and a couple of giant legs with little spikes on it crawling to you. You look at its face and your worst dream gets broken. Chill, it was just a dream, buddy. Number four, flying roaches. Fortunately, God allows us a favor that roaches are relegated to the ground rain. Despite having wings, they are about us veterans with chickens. In South Africa, scientists have discovered a roach that can jump which hasn't been found in any other species of cockroach. These unborn are twice as good at jumping as grasshoppers are. They can leap almost 50 times their body length, which makes them be able to be on your face in 0.1 seconds. Your screaming with fear is going to provide it a chance exactly it wants you to do. Grasshopper can do a mistake with its strange adapted dorsal legs. The critter research has dubbed an example of convergent evolution, which in biological terms is kind of like what the thing does to active researchers. Undoubtedly, they are in Africa and not air familiar. They have to learn how to swim to cope up with that area in Africa, and it will not take much time. Roaches are the kind of creeps that can make your stomach crawl. Fortunately, those creatures are in the very deep areas of Africa. Imagine you are out with your partner or children sitting in a restaurant having a happy time. At that exact moment, two or three of these little craps jump into your mouth and your girlfriend screams in utter fear because of the phobia for roaches. Your food, your groceries, all that you need to feed yourself can go wasted because of those little creeps. Number 3. The Murderous Flying Fungus When you think fungus, you apparently think of mushrooms, or maybe athlete's foot. It's something that grows in clammy places, warm places, and on the danger scale, it's somewhere between mild annoyance and delicious when deep fried. But then you have the bad characters in the group, like the newly discovered Cryptococcus gati, an invisible airborne fungus that, who knows, you might be breathing right now. We feel pretty safe stating that the words invisible and airborne will never precede anything good. We don't want to cause a panic here. All we're going to say is that National Geographic described it using the words hypervirulent, deadly, fast spreading, and super fungi, at least one of which we're pretty sure they made up just to describe this species. We know that deadly fungi existed. You'd find it in warm, wet places like the tropics, where it would sometimes infect weakened or already sick victims. So imagine everyone's surprise when this new strain showed up in Oregon and killed half a dozen perfectly healthy people. It spreads when its microscopic spores float through the air and you breathe them in. Washing your hands won't prevent it and neither will avoiding sick people. It's not contagious. It does just fine breeding and spreading on its own. There is no prevention. The only defense is to wait for symptoms to appear and go get treatment. It can take weeks or months after exposure for symptoms to kick in. Fortunately, the symptoms are unique and easy to spot. Things like headaches, red eyes, lethargy, and apathy. Holy crap! We think we have it right now. Number 2. Worm that survives 10,000 below us We are not incorporating this brute on this list simply because it's called the devil worm, but it does at least warrant mentioning that it is indeed called the devil worm. By itself, the devil worm is tiny and incompetent. Chances are you have more dangerous worms living in your brain right now. What makes it bothersome is the fact that it lives so far underground that it doesn't have any concern existing. How far? How about more than two miles straight down? Dig down 10,000 feet and you'll find the devil worm happily wiggling in an environment where only trace bacteria were thought to exist. More frightful than the devil worm itself is what it represents. Scientists now think that we might be on the verge of discovering a rich new biosphere under the earth. How much of this new branch of the animal kingdom will delight in feasting upon our livers? We don't know yet, though we are going to conservatively guess most of it. But we do at least know that miles below our feet, deeper than any human has ever excavated, there exists a pale, squirming, eyeless, Lovecraftian nightmare always burrowing. Number 1. The Man-Eater Makansi The Makansi is a large aquatic snake from the Amazon region of Ecuador. 
The snake is similar to the anaconda and preys upon the human and animal in its surroundings. And about the size, the Makansi is much bigger than anaconda. The thing is, the anaconda is more on muscle, but this one is not that much fat. It has a smooth purple-black body and normally remains underwater most of the time. The ancestor of Makansi is known to be the giant boa snakes. Although their ancestors is known to come from the Brazilian region, they somehow changed their home to Ecuador. Getting sight of these large man-eaters can be pretty tough, but if you're alone, you won't want one of those crushers to come in front of you. They spot their prey from the fragrance, and without making any sound, this snake can come within your private space range. The most efficient skill is their striking. They can strike at a great force, and those strikes are real good, and make sure that their prey does not get a chance to defend themselves. Normally, they prey on little deers, and sometimes on caiman. But there are reports from the native Amazonian that Makansi have the reputation of preying on young boys and girls who roam beside the lake or river. The discovery of science is booming in the 21st century. Apart from these discoveries, recently NASA has found a creepy space snake. Check out this video to know to full story.